Are you currently getting compared by anyone you talk to about your business? Like you're always being compared. Like you hear from the prospect, like, okay, well, sounds good and all, but I'm gonna go ahead and see what this other company has. Or or right from the very beginning, you're just like, yeah, you know what, I'm shopping around and I'm comparing you with uh, three other lenders or five other people or six other businesses. And and sometimes the, the absolute most frustrating part is because you're being compared uh, by somebody who is not even educated on the topic or the subject and so ultimately what they do is they just use the content being given by any random uh, salesman or loan officer or sales rep or agent and they're using that as kind of their basis of, of what the truth is or what the truth should be and I know you probably have faced this challenge before and if you haven't you definitely will I ain't the tallest, I ain't the strongest I ain't the biggest, I ain't the boldest, I ain't the hottest, I ain't the richest. It's one thing about the motherfucker tables, man, they always fucking turn. So if you've ever caught yourself kind of growing this inner frustration, like you're just about to blow up or hang up or you've responded with frustration after you found out you were going to be compared or you were going to be, you know, uh, uh, kind of put on the back burner until that prospect learned what their current service provider is going to give or what the other companies are going to give. And then, and then you ultimately kind of grow resentment to that prospect and then you give up. And see what the problem with that is though, is that when you give up, you're actually letting go of, of some of the lowest hanging fruit, right? Like we have this perception that, that the low hanging fruit are just people that are ready to buy. They're not going to ask any questions. They're good for you. You know, sometimes portfolio leads is viewed at as low hanging fruit, or sometimes, you know, people who are in, in limited, uh, capabilities of qualifying elsewhere and you have this particular niche product that you know only you and maybe one other company give but they're looking for that product and that's kind of like the low-hanging fruit get it and so and so because that is the perception sometimes we actually miss the real lowest hanging fruit and the real lowest hanging fruit are people who are already in the process of making the buying decision because if they're in the process of making the buying decision they're that much closer to actually completing and fulfilling the transaction. And that's exactly what we're in the business for is we want to be part of that transaction. Get it? And so if this has been a problem for you, where you, you know, especially in this market today, where you're just being compared, you're literally being put side by side with other lenders. And because we happen to be so experienced, we understand that a lot of these other lenders are just lying. Not only that, but they got bad service. Sometimes you know they do, or maybe, maybe you do. <laughs> maybe your company isn't necessarily the best. And so you're like, damn, if they find out and they read my reviews, damn, I'm not going to hear back from them right and why this is an issue or challenge is because typically when this happens we we usually bring that baggage in with us to the remainder of the day and so that kind of lingers in the back of our head and then what happens is it creates this anchored um feeling towards it right like this this anchor that kind of slows you down it holds you back because you were being compared you were just compared to another company maybe the day before the call before and you know that maybe your price is a little bit higher or your rates a little bit higher and so then you become discouraged and now any hint of possibly being compared it triggers an emotion within you of frustration defensiveness and sometimes you know you may not necessarily mean to but your tonality changes and therefore show sign of aggression and when you're in the heat of the moment, probably the last thing you're going to remember is this video. So I need you to try and remember this video. Not only that, but think to yourself and be like, man, how D, how would D do it, right? Like, what was D talking about at Sales Remastered? And, and maybe link this video or, sh or copy the link and post it in the notes in your smartphone so, and, and label it, right? Like, hey, man, when I'm being compared, I need to listen to this video. So, so the next time you're being compared, I want you to remember a few things and this is gonna help you get past it. Number one is they're telling you they're gonna compare you because typically that's just their defense mechanism. You ever do that? Like you ever go to um, like a car dealership 
and and even though you're not shopping around what you're doing or maybe it doesn't even need to be a car dealership it could be maybe you're getting quotes on um, like a like some work that needs to be done at your house or you're getting or put it this way like you're shopping for a, a brand name right and so we will typically go to a search engine to go ahead and search and kind of compare and use that as comparison but when you engage with the company for the very first time we use it as just general consumers when I say we I'm talking about us as a consumer I'm not talking about us as kind of having a biased opinion and being in sales what I'm talking about is when we initially engage with a salesperson to protect us we'll say things that will protect us from these salesmen because we don't want to be pressured we don't want to make you know we don't want them to have the impression that we're gonna make a decision right now right and 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 typically what we do is we say yeah you know what I'm shopping around and and I'm comparing you with this other company or you with this other dealership and I want to see what you got and usually we'll say that because it influences the salesman to open up and give their discounts or give their very first offer and the reason why consumers want to say that or even if they if even if they're lying and mind you there's that saying right buyers are liars um, and it rings true to some degree right not all the time but you got to be able to have enough emotional intelligence to pick this up but regardless if they're if they're lying or not the 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 challenges your your tonality cannot be defensive it can't be like okay well yeah just send me what they got you know like you don't you don't want to challenge them the last thing you want to do is contradict the person right you don't want to challenge the other person because that seem that's more of like kind of a debate where you're you're almost in an argumentative tone right and you and, and then and then what it does is it creates this energy that that influences you to down talk the competition and that's probably the worst thing that you could do because that just ultimately it's not there's no class and then number two is <clears throat> number two is if they if they happen to find out that the words that you're saying are not true then what happens is they they completely disregard you and then they forget about you so how how do you handle it? you might be like yo d man get on to the point bro i gotta go how do I handle competition? <laughs> and so how you handle competition is the second that you hear your your prospect is going to compare you, you want to agree with them, right? The number one thing about sales is you have to you have to, you know, make that energy likable, right? Like you know, a lot of salesmen people think that uh uh people buy from who they like, right? And so they they try to be the person that um, the other person will like. But you also have to make them feel that you are like them it's not it's not just like like hey man I like you bro like hey man I like you so much I'm gonna buy from you bro it's not just about that you have to, there's that rapport that you need so you need not only to be likable but you also have to be likewise right so when you think about you know the hearing the 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 um, the saying from the prospect like hey man I'm, I'm just looking around I'm shopping around comparing you you know you want to immediately agree right um, where where I think again most salesmen they they don't agree right like sometimes process will call in and they'd be like yeah you know I saw this advertisement of this uh, of this low fee or this low rate and I want to see if you had it available and then what happens is the salesman will say well what what's your rate right now <laughs> right and they'd be like oh this it's like, okay well you need this and then again it's that contradiction you're saying that you you can't do it so you're not agreeing with them so in in other words if they called in and say hey you know what I'm shopping and I'm comparing you with uh, two other companies and they might tell you the companies or they might not and typically if they don't then what they do is they uh, they're probably lying to you just to kind of create this defense mechanism so that they don't feel like they're being taken advantage of but when they say this you gotta say good as you should now as far as the other companies you know what did you like about them right or you know obviously you're including me so I appreciate you and you should definitely shop or you should definitely compare because you want to make sure that you got you know you're getting the best deal and this is a very important decision so when you're comparing you know there's this there's this point of service or maybe there's this characteristic of a company or the certain feature of a company that you're looking for just to ensure that I should be in the running what is that feature you know you're actually going straight to the center or going straight to the topic of what they want and that is the key thing right like a lot of salesmen they immediately will react defensive with defense and so they'll they'll come out and be like oh well who are you comparing me with like I'm comparing you with Lone Depot oh man they don't go with Lone Depot they're a mess blah 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 and they go into this defensive state but at the end of the day it's kind of like you're saying hey man you're dumb 
<laughs> you're, it's like you're telling the prospect that like, oh man, you're stupid. Don't mess with them, right? And it, it's just not worthwhile. Some people, some consumers may fall for that shit, but you're more likely to attract bees with honey. And so when you respond in a different way that's not like everyone else, you're going to stand out, right? And so there are other ways to, you know, to kind of down talk the company, but with class. And, you know, you want to say, well, the reason why we are preferred over Lone Depot is because our consumer or our clients actually enjoy our, you know, our monthly checkups or our courtesy check-ins or our complimentary reports. You see what happens is blah, blah, blah. And you start you start um, announcing things that you know that they would appreciate, right? Or things that they want. And you might be like, well, D, how do I know what they want? Easily, you gotta open them up. <laughs> and so when they tell you that they're comparing, say, hey, you know what, I appreciate your time. I appreciate you considering us to be part of the running. And uh, I wanna make sure that I can help you first so I'm not wasting your time. And that way you can get information from other companies if necessary. You know, so, so when you're comparing, I want to I want to just clarify so I can make some detailed notes here in the file. Um, what it, what features exactly are you looking for? You know, like you're 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 comparing, and, and so ultimately, what are you looking at? And a lot of times, they're gonna say, "Oh, well, I'm, you know, I'm comparing fees, I'm comparing rate." And then, and then you know, in order to divert their attention away from, let's say, that topic, let's say your fees aren't the lowest, or let's say your rate isn't the lowest, you know, you, you want to position yourself more as an educator, kind of like a consultant, right? And so you may want to influence other topics that they should pay attention to, and then you can actually kind of um, sway the the direction. And so if someone said, hey, um, you know, I'm, I'm comparing you to these other three companies, and I want to make sure that you know, I'm getting the lowest price or the lowest rate. And but inside, you know, sometimes we might already know, especially if they say the other company that we're not in a lower price or a lower rate than them. And so instead of being defensive, what we can do is say, oh, okay, good. Yeah, most homeowners do. Or most you know, most people do look for those two things. But what about like service or integrity or reliability? Is that important to you? And they're going to be like, yes, okay, okay, great. Because what happens is what I have found and what I've learned in dealing with all of my clients, and I've been in the business for this long, you know, if you, if you want to share that, um, or say typically what I've found, the, the most effective way in doing your comparison is not necessary to, to base it off rate and fees because just like an advertisement, every company is going to announce their absolute lowest, but then there's fine print that you don't necessarily see up front. And so what happens is they kind of use this bait and switch tactic and then they'll get you into a process and then things change. And so this is why reliability, integrity comes into play. You know, this is why reputation comes into play. And so why most of my clients continuously come back to me, I've got clients that I've worked with since I got into this industry. And they com they always come back to me and refer people to me because of the integrity, because of the reliability. You see, here, we make it very transparent. It's very simple. Our technology enables you to get this done without taking too much of your time, right? It enables you to see everything within the process and I'm your only point of contact so you're not going to be speaking to nine different individuals who don't know what the other person is doing right everyone is within sync and so if in the event I can move forward with this call and again that's that curiosity right like of course you're gonna move forward with the call but you want to build up kind of like that fil that filtering process because they're coming into it telling you that they're gonna compare and that's their mindset is to filter out all of the information out all of the data that they're being given from uh, from advertisements marketing other companies calling especially they do like an online inquiry they got like 900 people you know calling them right and so if your CRM has the capability of texting you know that's one effective way is is again to make to make them not only like you but 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 make it a make it apparent that you are like them Right. And so when you when you know that they did an inquiry, if they're not answering the phone, you know, don't be shocked. Don't get upset and think like, oh, man, this is an online inquiry. They're probably going to get a quote from this broker and I lost, you know, stand out, send them a send them a SMS through through the uh, uh, through your CRM and be like, 
you know, hey, I know you're getting a lot of calls right now and I'm not going to be at, you know, I'm not going to blow up your phone, you know, or I'm not going to call you and be one of those who keep your phone ringing. You're probably busy like most homeowners who are qualified are. And uh, I just want to confirm, how do you prefer uh, communication is text, email, phone call, you know, what is better for you? And if a phone call is good, let me know when, it, when is a time that you're available. Um, that's at your convenience. You know, you, your phone's going to be blowing up all day long, just FYI. So you might want to turn your ringer off. You know, a lot of these companies are pretty ruthless with trying to be the first to contact you. I don't operate that way, right? And just kind of get that dialogue of just how you are different from everyone else. Um, and you will stand out. And that's ultimately how you basically put up with competition is you, is you, is you sell your service, but you agree where if you push back and you, you get defensive, um, ultimately that just means that you're, you feel that you're going to lose. Like, you know what I mean? Like you got something to hide or that you've lost that competitor before. And, and the next time that, that you go into a buying decision or you're shopping for something, you know, that's expensive. I'm not talking about groceries, but I'm talking about something that you really invest into where you compare it like a mortgage loan or a car. I want you to use that same exact method, right? And be like, hey, man, I'm comparing your dealership with this dealership, and that dealership just happens to be, you know, their uh, their um, their competitor, right? And you can find out who their number one competitor is, or you can see the local companies or similar companies who are in, are direct competitors of that company. And what happens is when you go into the scene, to to the setting or the engagement and say that, hey, man, I'm comparing you to these other companies, you want to actually listen to the tonality change from these individuals and test it out. Right. Like just use it and see how they respond. And then and then as a consumer, you know, I want you to kind of go through the experience and be like, oh, man, that was smooth or oh, that was horrible. Right. And actually judge it because you are like your consumer. Our consumers are just like us. And so I hope that this helped you with understanding competition because it's going to happen, especially with technology nowadays. It's very easy to compare. And so and so when you feel like you're being compared, actually rewire your brain to understand that that's a good thing. It's a good thing because this person is actually serious about shopping. They're not window shopping. They're inside the store trying it on. Right. And so those are two different type of prospects. Stay with that prospect, but don't you know, don't be like everyone else where they're calling in without any value and be like, hey, just want to check up with those numbers. Everything has to be exciting. It's always a give, take, give, take, right? Like when, when you feel that, that that person is shopping, sometimes you can give too much without expecting to take anything in return. When, when, when you will lose is when you give too much information without getting any commitment. And so like if they if they're shopping you, you don't want to give them too much information. You want to say, hey, you know what? We operate a little bit different from these other companies. They'll quote you numbers or they'll give you a price in writing without verifying that you're actually qualified for it. However, the only thing I can put in front of you is relevant information that's worth your time. So in other words, I have to dot my I's and cross my T's because if I, if I show you any numbers or figures, it's actually going to be accurate. <laughs> and what you're going to find is that these other companies are very quick to quote you some numbers. They're, they're going to throw out some numbers that are best case scenarios. But unfortunately, I can't do that. The only way I can actually put out some numbers is if I can actually deliver it. And again, the wording that you just used to say that message actually triggered all the things that that consumer wants. And you may believe that you're making it harder for them to buy, but that's actually the integrity that they're looking for. Does that make sense? So so, so watch this video again if you're having trouble with getting compared or, or going up against competition. And I promise you, there, you'll get to a point where you're, you're actually okay with it. And you're not going to get defensive. But more importantly, you're going to be one step ahead in knowing that that person is going to buy soon. So you want to be able to uh, relay yourself and convey and, and deliver your message in a way that makes you stand out. But more importantly, triggers everything that they really want. And you got to find out exactly what they want with the company that they're choosing. So they're comparing you, but what are they comparing you for? And then can we change what they're comparing you for? Instead of rate fees or costs, can we also throw in reliability? You know, things like uh, accountability, um, one point of contact, you know, uh, very fast process, very transparent. It's super easy, not time consuming. These are things that trigger just the general population. <laughs> People pay more for convenience. Make sense? Um, and 
I know it's going to work. So if this is your first time watching, I appreciate the attention watching thus far. Please click the subscribe button and the bell. Tag someone or maybe um, share this video link with someone else who's also having trouble with, with uh, comparisons and, and being compared to your competitors. But more importantly, timestamp in the notes where your biggest takeaway was and give me some feedback. Like how did it help you or how do you relate? All right. I appreciate it. I'll see you in the next video. Bye. I had some dreams and said some things to you.